I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Tuesday morning, the 19th of November, 2024, and this is your friend, Angus Button, with a thought for the day. We go to the Gospel of Luke, chapter 23, verse 3. Then Pilate asked him, saying, Are you the king of the Jews? And he answered him and said, It is as you say. Jesus Christ is the king of all kings. Hallelujah. (laughs) He's the Lord of lords. He's the lily of the valley. He's the bright morning star. He's the friend of sinners like you and I. Folks, I want to say to you that every single creature that has ever existed in heaven and on earth knows in their heart that Jesus Christ is Lord of all. Philippians chapter 2 verses 10 and 11 says, Every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Everyone knows this. You say, how come? Because God has put eternity into the heart of a man. You can go to the Amazon jungle. You can go to the Congo jungle. You can go to the Arctic Circle. And you can meet people who have never, ever heard the name of Jesus. And you can ask them, is there a God? And they will say there is. There is a higher power. They just don't know his name because you and I haven't told them. But they know that there is a creator. Albert Einstein, regarded as one of the most brilliant men that ever lived, he acknowledged that there is a God. This creation couldn't happen with a big bang. It is created. I want to ask you a question. Do you know it today, sir? Do you know that Jesus Christ is God in flesh, Emmanuel, God with us? I want to suggest to you, stop arguing with God and start believing. Do you know that there is more evidence that Jesus Christ walked on this earth than there is that Julius Caesar was the emperor of Rome? Yet no one questions the fact that Julius Caesar was the emperor of Rome. Yet we are always questioning whether Jesus Christ is indeed the Son of God. You know, Pontius Pilate asked him, he said, are you the king of the Jews? And he said, yes, it is as you say. Oh, my dear friend, I want to pray for you this morning. Father, this man, this woman that is listening to this message, they continue to doubt your sovereignty. Please forgive them. Pray this prayer after me. I confess that I have doubted God. But today I choose by faith to believe that Jesus Christ is the soon coming King. Amen. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.